people tried to kill when I was younger, they were never the same after that. You know, the conversation that I had with him after it happened, I was just like, you are, you are another level, man. And this guy, think about this. The guy's 80 years old. Secret Service jumped on top of him, then pulled him up. Most 80-year-old people can't even get to the ground like he did. People question his his mental or his physical. This guy is a tank. He's yeah. a beast. I don't know what's in his blood. He never stops working. He never stops pushing forward. He's always grinding. He's always awake every time I text him. Or It's just he's one of the best guys that I've ever met. I would never back a guy or talk highly about a guy who was a piece of shit the way that they try to portray him in the media. He's a great human being he loves this country and he should be the next president of the united states all politics aside who do you want dealing with russia and and ukraine who do you want dealing with israel and gaza who do you want dealing with iran who do you want dealing with the world's problems right now not kamala harris and it's nothing personal against kamala harris i don't even know her wait but then how was what was his response when you asked him about the assassination attempt like what did he say to you typical trump absolutely resilient and you know walking me through what happened and funny at the same time and you know then the next day he jumps on a plane and flies to the rnc and then goes right back out in public on stage again you know it's it's unbelievable i've never met anybody like this guy he's an amazing human being i do say though at the end of the day he just got great like i'm not trying to play devil's advocate at all i'm a big trump guy too as well but I think that the whole thing, the only thing is like everybody's making a big deal. Like we jumped back and like got back on stage. He just, he did just get grazed in the air by a bullet. I get the whole thing, but why wouldn't he get back on the stage? Well, because there could have been more bullets. You don't know. No, well, what's there was going three on. that flew by. You didn't know that, so it was one that. Are you a conspiracy right now, Bob? Story: The shooting that yeah. happened here. I'm not being, listen, I'm just at, I'm just saying like it's 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 like if why you got shot at, wouldn't you stage? run away? If I got shot at, I'd be like, our Secret Service is doing a good job to make sure that never happens again. I want to go back immediately. Have a wait. Are you saying why did he stand back up on the stage? Because they took out the shooter. After, because Dane is saying like you know people are like, oh Trump almost got assassinated. He's back the next day, like campaigning. It's like, well, I hate to say it, like at the end of the day, he just did get grazed in the earth. God bless. He didn't get his head blown off. So, wait, I, I Jesus think so confused Christ. by what you're saying okay. right now. That's that's the problem. That's with America. a hot take. <laughs> this right here take. is the problem with America. He was, okay, yeah. Devil's Advocate, great podcast. Go ahead. He was almost assassinated. I'm trying to remember that's the guy's the name. The you, concert bro. here that was going on. So we went a couple weeks after the Mandalay Bay shooting, and I tried to get Jason Aldean back out here to do. He, that guy wouldn't leave his house. Right. And they weren't trying to that's kill him. Right. They were just shooting into the crowd yeah. yeah you're right you're right right I'll be most right. people i agree that was assassination on uh, on trump's life an assassination attempt and and, and the guy got off like eight shots yeah before he was killed did you see the sniper kind of like panicking though like he hit him though right the guy that was the, the guy that hit him with the bullet he looked very uncomfortable when he released that, that wasn't the guy who hit him there was a different guy there was who a different him. guy that yeah. Hit him? yeah okay cool so who was that guy he missed that guy was just looking someone else had shot from a different direction so did the secret service just fuck up that day well, but then the other thing is, if you're Trump, is if, if Secret Service, a 20-year-old kid with a gun and a ladder, climbs up on the thing, everybody can see him, and they're all telling everybody, there's a guy up there with a gun, and he's not already dead before he cracks off eight shots at the right. former president of the United States, you're going to go out in public again? Who can you trust? Who no, can, no shit, exactly. You're the most paranoid... I- on I get planet that. Earth. Now that I put that in perspective, I do <laughs> you, say Abu I, Dhabi yeah. is the safest place on the planet. You couldn't last <laughs> 24 hours there. We're going to get the fuck out of here. These guys are going to do something that are going to get us in. Part, part one of the episode. A guy tries to assassinate. You, you're going to go back out the I next came day and go back this episode. This is supposed to be a peaceful episode. That's hilarious. Do not let me unleash on you, but I may in a minute. Yeah. I got you a birthday gift, by the way, so stand by. You you're going to love it. It lasts a long time. Every time you look at that birthday gift and you're not allowed to get rid of it, you think of me. <laughs> Next question. You talked Go. earlier about like the, the hatred that people have when they were 